Welcome back to the Puppy Paws. In this episode, we'll be talking about puppy confirmation evaluation and puppy personality testing. What we're hoping these tests will do is give us a better sense of how we can best work with each individual puppy to bring them to their full potential as a working sled dog here in Denali. The first phase of the personality test mainly looks at the puppy's social attraction, their interaction with people and with other dogs, how they respond to dominance or restraint, and how comfortable they are with humans in a leadership role. The first test that you'll see is the sociability portion of the test, where the new person will call the pups over to them. What we saw in this test was Annie and Lucky had a high degree of following or social dependence on people. Polly, on the other hand, was a little bit more of an independent puppy. The second little test is a restraint test. We restrain the puppy for 30 seconds and that gives us a really good idea of how well they're going to accept the, the stress of a big dog physically or socially dominating them. Both Lucky and Annie were really comfortable with accepting this form of dominance and being in a position where they have little to no control. Polly is a little bit less comfortable with this form of dominance. The next test was where we test their elevation dominance and hold them up in the air for 30 seconds. Annie and Polly were both pretty comfortable. They didn't really fidget when we lifted them up in the air. And Lucky was even more comfortable than either of his sisters, which tells us that all of our puppies are pretty comfortable being in a position where they have little or no control. The second part of the test looks at the individual puppy's intelligence and spirit and willingness to work with a human in a training role. first test that we do measures their sensitivity to sound and loud noises. So what you'll hear is the banging of a spoon on a pot. A nervous puppy would be very sound sensitive. All of our puppies show really good confidence and comfort with loud noises, which makes sense since they grow up in a very noisy dog yard. <laughs> There's a high correlation between the ability to retrieve an object and very successful working dogs. Annie scored pretty highly in her interest in the paper ball and willingness to play with it. Lucky scored the lowest. He played for a little bit and then quickly lost interest. Polly had the highest score out of the litter because she was the only one that actually went and retrieved the paper ball and brought it back to the person. Their response to this strange object tells us more about their confidence and curiosity. And what we saw here was Annie showed a very intelligent response to a strange object. She started chasing and playing with the rope. Polly stared at the rope and then backed away from it, which means she was confused about what to do with this object and Lucky actually ran away and hid so he might lack a little confidence or independence. And a week later they completed their puppy confirmation evaluation. Confirmation is essentially the physical structure of a dog's body. At exactly eight weeks old Pat Hastings believes that a puppy's body is the exact miniature replica of what its adult body will be when it finishes growing. We take the puppy's pictures, we send those pictures off to Pat Hastings, and she is an AKC show judge who works with us closely to help evaluate the confirmation of each litter of puppies that we have. Because our sled dogs run thousands of miles, the ability to have good muscle development is really critical to their performance and their comfort on the trail. The key things that we're looking at for our sled dog puppies is a good, strong, well-proportioned front end with a well-angulated shoulder because our dogs will wear a harness that allow them to really lean into the harness and pull the weight of the sled. They need to have a nice, proportional, strong hind end with really well-developed muscles to give them that forward drive as they pack a trail through deep snow. When we look at a dog from behind, we should see a nice inverted U shape. Finally, our sled dogs all need to have a nice strong back, proportional to the rest of their body. Just because a puppy doesn't score a perfect in their personality test and doesn't have the exact confirmation that we would look for in a test 
doesn't mean that they're not going to turn out to be the most amazing lead dog this kennels has ever seen. And that's the really inspiring thing about sled dogs. On a daily basis, their passion for their job leads them to do the seemingly impossible.